All right, I'm gonna try not to get killed in the traffic. It's time to head back to school. In this video, I'm gonna give you the grand tour of University Boulevard in Mobile, Alabama. Now right now I'm standing in front of the University of South Alabama, which is one of the main stops along the way, but we're gonna talk about the restaurants, the stores, a lot of places along the way, and I'm gonna give you an insider's look exactly what it's like from the north as we head all the way through Mobile and end up on the south side. So we're gonna cover a lot of places, so it's time to hop in and take a ride. Hey, my name is Jeff Jones with Keller Williams right here in this beautiful city of Mobile, Alabama. It is bright and sunny today, but that is great. The weather's good, and as you can tell, I'm having a little pollen issues over here, but that's okay because that sometimes that's just part of living in Mobile. But hey, I love getting a phone call. I look down, and I see it's a number I don't recognize because people are wanting to know what it's like living in the city of Mobile. So call the number on the screen, shoot me a message, a text message, an email, any way you want to reach out, and I'll be happy to help you answer any questions you have. But hey, also, like and subscribe subscribe like and subscribe so that you'll get notifications every single time a new video drops every single week and the tour of University Boulevard starts right here so this is highway 98 now there's a little speculation some people will say well university doesn't begin here because they have a university I guess a north part of university but this is the university that I've always known it starts right here at highway 98 and goes all the way the Cottage Hill Road. So as you can tell, this is it. Come to a little uh, interchange here or intersection and we go back under Highway 98 and then we start our journey and the first stop along the way will be the University of South Alabama. When that Walmart neighborhood market came to town, that was a huge deal because there was just really nothing out here. Uh, and so that gave a lot of opportunities. Of course, it's got a gas station there as well. And I grew up riding my bike off of Ziggler Boulevard. So that's where this is. You've got University, Ziggler, Overlook, all of this area. Uh, it's been around for a long, long time. And I believe that there's gonna be some development. You've got some uh, commercial signs for sale. And I believe there's gonna be more development out in this area because, well, they're not making any more land. The campus of the University of South Alabama begins right here and it's right across the street from the Azalea City Golf Course. You can go back in there. Um, a lot of people don't even know that's there. And then right next to it is one of the, the nation's largest tennis centers. It's absolutely incredible. Anyone who's involved in tennis will know that. But if you check out this, this is like the formal entrance to the University of South Alabama. This campus, uh, it began in 1963 and it has I looked it up and it has over 15,000 students in enrollments. It's a massive campus in the heart. Whoa, okay, I almost got in a wreck. Um, anyway, but uh, University of South Alabama, it offers studies in a lot of different, a lot of different courses. And this place, it really is, it's in the heart of Mobile. So go ahead and show some of the campus. As you're looking here, you see these are some of the older, um, the older buildings that have been around since the 60s but then right next to it, there'll be a brand new building that was just built in the last few years. And South Alabama's doing great things. I talked about in another video that they built a brand new football stadium that has over uh, 25,000 in seating and it's gonna do great things. In fact, the Senior Bowl is now being held at the University of South Alabama football stadium. And check this out. I mean, this is an incredible entrance. So, great area of town um, that just has a lot of a new activity you'll see students out walking now this neighborhood over here this is called University Park um, and there are a lot of folks that you, you'll have these parents from out of town that will buy houses in University Park and then they'll let their students or their children uh, live in there with a couple roommates um, so there are a good bit of rentals in that area but houses in there I'm gonna take a guess they're probably in the 120 to 170 range um, but yep University Park very well established, been there a long time. And as you can tell, that's one of the newer buildings for South Alabama. So cool. Mellow Mushroom Pizza. You know, I talk about pizza a lot on this channel because I love it. So that's a great pizza place. Now we're crossing over Old Shell Road. I did an entire video just about Old Shell, but this will give you an idea of how these roads intersect. So you've got um, 
you've got more University of South Alabama on this side of, um, of university. You go way down there, then that's going to run into Spring Hill College. So it's not too far, maybe maybe two miles from South Alabama. So you've got several large universities that are in the city of Mobile. You've got a Dunkin' Donuts. You've got a Wings place. You've got uh, a new chicken salad chick. And then you've got this other place coming up that I've recently been educated about. I didn't know anything about this place, but I had some young people in my life uh, tell me some things that I did not know. So let's take a look at that. So I'm a little heartbroken because there used to be one of the best chicken finger places ever called PDQ. And it was right here at this building with the red roof on it. And since then it has closed down and they opened this other place called Cookout. And I have been told that the line is like way out to the street with a lot of young people, late, super late at night. I don't know anything about that because I'm usually in bed by like 11, but I've heard it's great. So, you know, if you come to Mobile, you have to try it out. I've heard good things about it, but we're coming up here on a road called Bit and Spur. That's Bit and Spur. And this is like where I guess the Spring Hill area kind of begins. And you'll notice there's an elementary school across the street. It's called ER Dixon. And I've just heard great things about that school and it kind of cuts through, it takes you into the heart of Spring Hill. And then on this road, you can tell you've got the oak trees, beautiful little drive here, and then it drops you off at one of the busiest intersections in all of Mobile, and that is University and Airport Boulevard. So you've got a plethora of places, you've got a fairly new Publix uh, grocery store, you've got a Wells Fargo bank, and then you've got another place that holds a special place in my heart, Fusackley's. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. We're crossing over airport right now. We've got some other, you know, things. Of course, you got a pharmacy there and a what used to be a grocery store. I don't know what they're going to put there, but that can't remain vacant for much longer. I can't imagine that would happen, but keep looking over here. You'll see this is the original Fusackley's location. Look how far the cars are backed up. People love that place. So some guys started that place, and of course they have multiple locations now, all based out of Mobile, but it all started on University Boulevard. And now we're crossing under Greelot Road. Siri cannot pronounce that thing to save its life, but this is where it starts and it goes way out in West Mobile. And just up the hill, you've got the uh, West Mobile branch of the Mobile Public Library. All right, now stay tuned here. We're coming up on what is now uh, St. Luke's Episcopal School. But this used to be, from what I understand, the original uh, Julius T. Wright School. So you had the girls' school at Julius T. Wright, and then you had the guys' school at UMS, and of course they combined. Now they're located on Old Shell Road, and it's UMS Wright. So you've got an office park, you've got some apartments here. And uh, when I sold insurance, I know it's hard to believe I sold insurance for three months. My office was right down there. And I gotta tell you something, I was not very successful. I sold insurance for three months and I sold two policies and both of them were to myself. Obviously that was not my calling. Now this neighborhood over here, I like to call this the cut through neighborhood. And so what I always do when I was going to Davidson High School, if you were on university you could cut through there and it was like just i mean it was like going through a maze um, so i spent a lot of time in that neighborhood getting you to davidson high school it also takes you to denton high school um, excuse me denton middle school which is now a magnet school in mobile um, talked a little bit about the magnet school program in mobile but anyway we're coming up on a major intersection so this has another walmart like a neighborhood market and then uh so this is cottage hill road cottage hill is one of the busiest streets that takes you from way downtown all the way out to West Mobile, practically to Mississippi. And uh, we're gonna continue though. We're not gonna stop on University. The road actually changes names, but uh, Cottage Hill Road will take you just about anywhere in Mobile and it's often used as an alternative because people, you know, they think, oh, Airport Boulevard, I don't wanna go down airport, so let's take Cottage Hill instead. And that's what a lot of folks do. So yep, I was right, University, back behind me and Demetropolis forward. So we're gonna take you all the way through Demetropolis and end up on Government Street. So 
So this area off of Demetropolis, um, I just sold a house over here actually on Burma. And this road, Burma Road, will take you all the way uh, to Lawn Park area, but to Dodge Elementary School. Now my wife taught there for many years, but it's like this little school that's in a community. So that would obviously uh, serve the students in this area, but some of those houses, uh, I wanna say the house I sold was around 180. So, you know, maybe in that 150 to 225 range are gonna be a lot of the houses in this area. And another thing on Demetropolis is you can take your driver's license test right over here. So, you know, one of the things as we wrap this up, I thought about it for a second. I thought, well, wait a minute, you can't just drive down University. Let's focus also on one of the biggest shopping centers that's actually on University and Airport. And so, like you can imagine, we've got the Fusakleys, the Smoothie King, but then also there's several other places. And I'm just going to kind of go along and show you some of the stores and restaurants that are actually in this shopping center. So my wife and I visited this place and this is the Langyap Home Store and they have some incredible furniture. We loved it. I mean like you have, if you're looking for furniture, a lot of folks reach out to me and they're like, hey, where do we you know, go to buy furniture now that we're here in Mobile? Is I tell them there, I tell them Hanks. Uh, there are a couple other places that have great furniture options, but that's definitely one of them. And you can also hang out at the Planet Fitness. Um, a lot of folks go there as well. Two words, ladies and gentlemen, five guys. Now, for folks looking for a church, I've heard great things about City Hope Church. It's got multiple campuses. There's one across the bay, but a lot of my friends are like, oh, City Hope, like they love it. So a lot of good things I've heard about that place. Now, if you know anything about Harbor Freight, you know the kind of reputation they have. If you only need the tool a couple times, buy it at Harbor Freight, you'll be, you'll be in business. If you need it for a long time, you might want to go to Home Depot. But anyway, you can get cheap tools there. And also, uh, Sugar Rush Donuts, this is like a local place, amazing donuts there. I absolutely love it. And uh, then, keep in mind, this parking lot, not only does it have Five Guys, Sugar Rush Donuts, the Harbor Freight, City Hope Church, all of those things, it has one of the greatest places on the planet that is located everywhere in the Deep South. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Chick-fil-A. And there it is, folks, the Chick-fil-A. Uh, honestly, it's one of my favorite places. I'm thankful that in Mobile we have multiple locations. So to wrap up this video, I've given you the tour of University Boulevard from way up north all the way through the city of Mobile down south where it changes to Demetropolis. But hey, reach out to me. You know, I love looking down at my phone. I see a number I don't recognize, but I love it because I know that people are, well, they really want to know the inside scoop on what it's like moving to the city of Mobile. So call the number on the screen, shoot me a message, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get notified with every new video. And hey, today, we're gonna eat here at Chick-fil-A, so, but because they've closed inside, we can't go inside, but we're gonna hop in the car, place the order, and get it to go.